This is Twit. All the stuff you don't want Chrome to do is in Brave. And I've talked about this before in other shows. Uh, I, I feel like Brave has come a long way. At this point, I'm ready to use Brave on every platform, including iOS. Now, remember, when you use an alternate browser on iOS, it never can be the default. So when you click on links, it'll always open Safari. But I noticed, I was thinking, you know, a lot of most of the time I use browsers on iOS, it's because I launch the browser and do a search. Mm -hmm. So why not make Brave be that browser? Right. Brave has a lot of nice features. Because it is uh, Chrome, it looks like Chrome. It's got all the same Chrome features. Um, there's the tabs. And it's and this it's got a mobile version. And it's actually really nicely tailored for whatever platform. So they have an excellent um, version for iOS, an excellent version. Let's just, let's open something. I don't know what, Twitter. No, I'm not a subscriber. Let's open, let's go to Wikipedia. That's a good one. Always good to go to Wikipedia. Um, so it's fast. It can, uh, I'll show you the settings. It'll, it can use, uh, all the regular, um, search engines and, you know, it defaults to Chrome, but it, it can use a whole bunch of other ones, including besides DuckDuckGo stuff that Safari doesn't offer info galactic quant start page. Wikipedia can be, there's private tab searching is different than standard tab. I've turned off show search suggestions. That's one of the ways Google spies on you, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's also one of the ways Google pushes you. More importantly, in a direction, you know. And I just turn those off because I don't I don't want that. Um, there are also quick search engines that you can use any of these by using a special search term. Uh, it has a, a, a a lot of privacy features. It will use Face ID if you wish or a passcode. Here's built-in ad blocking, ad tracking blocked. HTTPS, so every everything is secure if possible. This is a plug-in that most many people install on Chrome, but it, it comes built into Brave. Block phishing and malware. If you really want to get crazy, you can block scripts and even fingerprint protection. It will block suspicious scripts automatically. So if there's a JavaScript loading from another site that's the site that you're on, it'll let you know which is really nice. It also has a sync capability, which I really like. So this is in beta right now, but you can sync the bookmarks on your desktop to another desktop, to all your desktops, to all your mobile devices, so that the bookmarks automatically get synced. That's a very, I think, a very nice feature. And Brave is starting something kind of uh, new, which is, I, by the way, every time you go to a site, you can open this up. And for people who used Ghostery or something like that, this is really nice. It'll show you. Let's go to a site that probably has a few more ad. Uh, let's go to TheVerge.com. Now, first of all, I'm going to see an ad, mostly ad-free version of The Verge because yeah. it's doing ad blocking. But if I type the lion, the brave lion, 18 ads and trackers, it had to upgrade it to HTTPS. Didn't block any scripts, although if I turn on script blocking, I bet it would. So this is where I can do the settings. You can also take down the shields on a site very easily just by typing tapping the lion's head and turning off shields. That means there won't be any blocking. And there are some sites where I want pop-ups. I want you know various features to show up. So I will turn off the shields on those sites, or you can do it individually. This is all built in, which I really like. It has all of the standard Apple sharing capabilities. Really, there's nothing Safari can do uh, that Brave can't do. So... I, Brave was a little immature in its early days. There's a new thing that they're doing, which is Brave, I can't remember what it's called, like Brave Bucks or something, where um, they actually, you can generate revenue or put money into a wallet and use it to distribute among the sites that you are blocking ads on to help them monetize. Oh. And I think that's really great. Yeah, um, it's it's a, I think it's a crypto coin. Let me see if it's, I can see the name of it on my... Uh, well, I know when you open up the, the Brave browser, a coin market cap comes up as a tab. That's a choice. Yeah. Like, but, do you think they sold that? Space? Um, do they sell that they, Maybe. I don't know. I think you haven't used it enough to yet have your own bookmarks right. in there. Probably. Um, you could put payments in there, payment methods. You could put addresses in it. It's basically a very complete Chrome um, I have Tor on the desktop version, I'm, and then the sync, and this is on the desktop, but this is how the sync works. I can sync up, uh, I can add, shall I add a new device? I don't know if I want to show this. I guess I could show this. Add new device. 
well, if I do this, it'll show a QR code. I'll take a picture of the QR code on the iPad, and then we'll be syncing the iPad bookmarks mm -hmm. and all my other desktop bookmarks, which is which is really nice. Um, what else uh, do I want to tell you about? It's it's. I think it's just a really nice browser, well worth um, uh, taking a look at anyway as an alternative, especially if you like Chrome, because it is Chrome. It's going to do everything Chrome can do. I have Chrome extensions installed. Uh, but I but I also get privacy, which Chrome is not no, known for. So I make it my default everywhere. Uh, I I have started to put money into the the wallet there so that uh, I can pay sites if I want. There's lots of information. They call them bats, which probably stands for brave something. Hmm. And uh, so I have some brave tokens. You can put money in if you want, and then you can grant it to some of the sites that you visit if you want. So that's that's kind of cool. This is my bat wallet. I'm not sure how much of this is on the iOS side. I bet you Apple does not allow this. Mm, um, probably. So, you know, there may be some limitations that you see on the Brave browser on the uh, on the Apple side. But I think this is really well worth looking at as an, as an alternative to Safari, as an alternative to Chrome. Frankly, it's it's now my browser of choice everywhere.